On this episode of Community Connections, we're on site with Pain Pump Service in Davisville, Missouri. Let's find out how quality and service play a big part in producing the purest mountain water. with FCMB Bank. Joining us is Jason and Monica Payne, owners of Payne Pump Service in Davisville, Missouri. Welcome. Hi. Hello. You've been servicing and installing water wells and pumps for several years now. Tell us about how you got started in the business. Okay, back in 2001, my dad started the business. I was a little girl. Um, he worked it for several years. He, he had a different job and he did this on the side, but then the business picked up, so he, he quit that job and just went on his own. He built his own derrick on the truck. And um, in 2000, and no, it was 2000, Jason went to work for him and worked with him until 2015. And then my dad said it was, it was time to branch out on our own. Mm -hmm. At first I said no, because I was scared, but my dad just kept pushing and pushing until we did it. And it was, it was probably the best move we made. Yeah. Okay. The good Lord's put everything in front of us. You can't beat that. So catering to personal, uh, customers and businesses, what type of services do you guys provide? Uh, anything to do with water, to service the house, do a little bit of plumbing, cattle waters, anything to give the customers any water, any source, backhoe work, anything. So your home base is here in Davisville, Missouri. What other service areas do you provide? Uh, I do Steelville, Cuba, St. James, Potosi, and it's mostly a hundred mile radius, but the good Lord's been blessing us and we're reaching out to DeSoto, Ironton, uh, Dixon, up to 100. I mean, we're, so it sounds like you're staying pretty busy. Yep, the good Lord's really blessing us. As a business owner, what does your company focus on? Uh, just to make the customers happy and build a friendship with them to where we'll do other things together maybe one day. How many uh, people do you have on your crew? <laughs> Just me and her or our son when he's home to help us and our nephew when he, he needs help. He'll come and help. We know giving back to our communities is really important. What are some ways that you guys give back to your local community? Well, we do the normal the sponsorships and donations, but the one thing that really holds our heart is Love Thy Neighbor. So with Love Thy Neighbor, um, we raise money all year, but we have two big fundraisers. One is a Valentine dinner, and it's $25 a plate, and it always sells out. And then the other one we actually organize, and it's the singing. So we get eight to 10 local people that with talent, and they sing, and between each singer, we auction off big goods. This last Sunday was actually the singing, and we raised right, right around 7,600 in three hours. That's incredible. So our, the Love Thy Neighbor, they go and put roofs on houses for people who can't afford it can't do it themselves. It sounds like it's a really great organization, and I'm sure they appreciate everything you guys do for them and so forth. Um, your relationship with FCMB has been several years in the making. Tell us about that relationship. They've been really great to us. Uh, John Craig, he's been really good. I call him up, and or I call him and he texts me back and say, hey, I'm in a meeting, I'll get back with you. And whatever I ask, he, he does his best to get it done. Great. So if someone was interested in your services, how can they contact you? Uh, just my phone number or my house phone on the cell or whatever. And most of the time they get her on Facebook okay. to get a hold of me. Thank you guys for joining us today on Community Connections.